Hey guys, welcome to a new 100 second tutorial. Today I will show you how to denoise your low light footage with a plugin I really recommend and like. Let's go. So, in this tutorial, we will denoise this clip right here. Um, when you look precisely, you will um, reckon, or you will, yeah. Um, real some noise right over there because it was a dark industrial hall and we had we had not much light so um, yeah and then this tutorial I will use a plugin um, it's probably the best plugin for um, denoising your footage it's called neat video I will just give you some examples on what the pricing is I have the pro version and it's actually quite cheap for what you achieve with it because um, it can really do a lot of stuff it's quite uh, it takes long to to edit those effects but in general it um, it, it will be worth it okay so um, yeah it is also available for a lot of different programs um, and you have some offers right open here so um, I can really recommend it and today I will show you how it works in this shot so we will search for need video noise reduction and we will put it on a adjustment layer we will just create so an adjustment layer because this one that is the color grading I would not um, recommend to do it on the same adjustment layer as the color grading why we put it on an adjustment layer um, I will explain to you in a couple of seconds now um, click on setup okay and it will take a moment to load um, to load the plugin okay because it takes a lot of uh, CPU to, to, to run it um, so I will just quickly move it in so now we have the plugin right here and we will see and we see our shot click on auto profile okay and now it will automatically give you a point where it um, where it sees or um, um, analyzes that there's noise reduction. I would go for a um, for a subject or a point where the noise reduction is clearly um, visible, but um, in some shots it's also good to to change it afterwards because sometimes it um, it's just um, it ruins the image okay but with around um, plus 71 percent we should be good sometimes it's about uh, 300 percent and then it will be unusable afterwards okay and now we click on build profile and on adjust and preview and now you see okay um this area there was enough noise now it's away click on apply now what we can do with our adjustment layer is to change the opacity this will also increase or decrease the amount of noise reduction in your footage so when you want to play with it um, on, on, a, on, a, on one parameter that's sometimes easier to to adjust because um, especially when you have a lot of different um, shots but in this example it's completely okay like it is I will shortly render it so click on sequence and render effects into out so now we have rendered our footage and if you have a look on it it looks great um, I don't know, really know if it's possible to do it manually, but um, the good thing about these plugins is that they um, created a whole uh, own engine, okay? And um, you won't be that precise and good for noise reduction. And yeah, we'll just have a look on a, a closer look to this area right over there. Um, if we turn our adjustment layer off and on, you will clearly see the difference, okay? and in my opinion that's an amazing thing and it will really um, help you to have a better workflow and um, to not pay that much attention on set on perfectly exposing your shot you have a lot more space and freedom in post and um, for uh, 100 bucks or so that's really a good option um, for you as well 
So hope you liked the video and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.